go to school and hear our classmates recite the Pledge of Allegiance all year. It seems that some have gotten tired of saying it. To them, the words have lost their meaning. It is time we look closer at the Pledge of Allegiance and what each word really means. I, me, an individual, a committee of one. Pledge, dedicate all my worldly goods to give without self-pity. Allegiance, my love and devotion. To the flag, our standard, old glory, a symbol of freedom. Wherever she waves, there is respect because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts freedom is everybody's job. Of the United, that means that we have all come together. States, individual communities that have united into 50 great states. 50 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose, all divided with imaginary boundaries, yet united to a common purpose, and that's love for our country. Of America and to the Republic a state in which sovereign power is vested and representatives chosen by the people to govern. And government is the people, and it's formed from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people. For which it stands. One nation, united under one banner. Under God, our Creator, whose very word established our laws, values, and nations whose guidance has been sought by our nation's founding fathers and greatest leaders, including Washington, Adams, and Lincoln. Indivisible, and capable of being divided. With liberty, which is freedom and the right of power to live one's own life without threats or fear or some sort of retaliation. And justice, the principle or quality of dealing fairly with others. For all, for all, which means it's as much your country as it is mine. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance together. <laughs> 